And well, good morning, everyone. From East Alton, Illinois here. Nomadic Fanatic, Eric with you. Um, I really appreciate all the suggestions about the uh, snow and freezing and uh, frozen water pump and everything. As you can see here today, it's all uh, thawed away. It's still cold at night, but I have learned that Miranda has a limit, and that limit is right around 25 degrees or warmer. As long as it doesn't drop under 25 degrees, she does okay. Uh, I do appreciate a lot of the tips that people were telling me, like the uh, heating pads that you can put on the actual holding tanks and the water tank and the heat tape that you can put on it. Uh, the thing is, I just don't plan on being here very long. And what's interesting about it is the two heated bays that I have over there, it doesn't do anything because this bay, the water comes all the way across to the other side of the RV and the water pump and valves are down there. So you got stuff going from side to side and these bays are, you know, out in the elements. So that's really the problem. Miranda is not a Four Seasons RV. That's okay. <laughs> Soon after this, I will be heading to warmer climate where there's no chance of freezing. So the biggest tip that I can offer that I have learned is keeping the water heater. It's going? Yeah, it's going right now. Keep the water heater on 24 hours a day. Keep turning on the faucets to keep warm water in the line and do that right before I go to bed also. Turn on the hot water, wait about 10 seconds till you can feel the hot water, make sure hot water's in the lines before I go to bed. And no, oh, damn. People keep messing with me. The scorpion thing, you're not, you're not gonna understand because that's a story for another day, but people keep hiding these fake scorpions all over. The place. So anyway, I just want you to know I appreciate all of the tips and everything, but, but no worries, uh, everything's working right now. Uh, Modified Auto here, it's going to be doing some stuff to Miranda all day tomorrow. She'll be here in the shop and I'll show you what's going on, what the plan is, and I'll kind of walk you through what the upgrades I'm making. Uh, but today, I figure since it's not really, really cold, I'm going to bundle up, take the bike out, we'll go look at some new stuff around town. How does that sound? Okay, cool. But before we do that, oh, you guys see the new logo? Remember this one from Yoda, the old color? This is the uh, newest version. I'm happy to announce, finally, some new stickers with Miranda the RV. And you got jacks up on top of the RV and uh, the new style and everything. So I do have these for sale. I'm able to mail these out to you. I'm gonna really undercut the uh, sticker YouTube market here. I'm gonna do two for five or five stickers for $10 shipped internationally. How about that? I got time to pack them up and write them out and send them out to you from Illinois. So if you're interested in these, get them while I have them and have the ability to uh, ship them out to you. I will get those out to you soon. They make great stocking stuffers or putting on uh, other rigs. They are also the UV extra waterproof, sunproof stickers. So get those while I got them, guys. Let me put on a jacket, long pants. We'll get on the road. It's fun having the bike to get out and explore a little bit. We are here in historic Alton and we're all, not like a brick road. It's a really steep road, but yeah, it's a, it's a brick road. It's not cobblestone. I always call this cobblestone. No, it's just uh, a really old steep brick road. And you got the Mississippi out there. See that? See the black line on the bottom of these big concrete towers? That's the, uh, the great flood that happened with the, the Mississippi River. I miss the old Great River Road. That series last fall, coming down from uh, Minnesota to, to New Orleans, one of my favorite all-time theme trips. In fact, I'll even link it at the end of this video if you want to catch up on that. But we're here at one of the uh, first state prisons of Illinois, built 1830. They preserved uh, at least a little bit of, of the original uh, rock walls that, that were here when it was built. It's a Civil War Confederate prison, and they averaged six to 10 deaths a day in the prison, so maybe not very good conditions. <laughs> yeah, their, their track record here wasn't fantastic, clearly. <laughs> One of my Patreon subscribers said there's also the prison cemetery nearby, but I can't seem to locate it on Google Maps, so 
Sorry, I didn't find it this time. Was I was I close to it? I don't know. I'm not sure. Well, what we're gonna do is we go up the Great River Road a little bit farther and make some stops that I haven't stopped at yet. Uh -huh. All right. All right. I'll bite. This is interesting enough for a second look. Up on the uh, rock face here, we've got what's called the piazza. Piazza appears to be a very large, possibly ancient, dragon-looking, flying-winged creature painted on the side of a... Uh, oh, there's a bunch of caves, too. Hopefully I can get some good uh, drone shots of the area here. I'm going to read this sign over here also, or at least a little bit of it. The Legend of the Piazza. In 1673, Jacques Marquette reported that he and fellow French explorer Louis Joliet discovered a painting of what was probably two water monsters on the bluffs of the Mississippi River near present-day Alton. So this was discovered in 1673. That was a long time ago, folks. Some history here on the hillside. There also appears to be three caves, and um, it's all fenced off. So, I don't know, you probably can't see it, but right here there's a, there's a fence right here by these bushes. I think they're trying to keep us out of the caves, although I can't find anything that says don't go in there. I'm sure people go in there. I have the drone, so I'm gonna be very, very careful. I'm not getting any GPS here, so we're gonna use vision only and keep a close eye. And I'm gonna, we're gonna go into this cave right here and uh, take a look live here. Just going to carefully watch all of my sides here. Like I said, uh, I'm just vision only, so I can crash while I'm in here. Whoa, this is really cool. It's a three system cave. There's lots of light in here because there's three openings. I think that's the reason why. We'll peek down at the bottom here. I feel like we're in like another planet or something looking down for the first time at something. Don't know if anybody has ever looked in here in this uh, generation. I know that's pretty cool. Let's just uh, not wreck the drone and get back out of here and <laughs> put it away safely. In all my travels I don't know if I've ever seen anything preserved that long ago, that many centuries old here in the United States. That seems like an awful long time, right? I think so. You know, I'm also meeting a ton of my subscribers here in Illinois, at least here in the St. Louis East Alton area uh, here. And it's been really fun, a ton more than last year when I was here. And the plan here was to hang out with friends and family. And, and we're actually doing a, uh, a banquet Thanksgiving here coming up. So I, I am really happy that it's not just going to be Jackson and I in the RV eating the TV dinner this year. I'm really, really happy to be spending it with friends and family, and I hope you guys are too. Hope you got some fun plans with your families. I'll keep the videos coming as much as possible. My new MacBook 16 inch has shipped, and when that arrives, right after Thanksgiving, I will be scooting on out of here for my uh, Christmas plans, which is not Disney. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not, so. Anyways, I'm gonna stop in and get a bite to eat while I'm out here and just kind of relax and get back to the shop, start prepping the RV. And we'll cut back in when we start working on the uh, new installs for Miranda. I found some comfort food, nuggets and fries, and I love regular honey for my chicken nuggets. I'll try it though. You might not like it. It is quite delicious. All right, back in the warm, cozy RV here, going to start doing the uh, prep and clean up so that uh, Gary here at Modified Auto can uh, start working on all this stuff, which will be in the next video. Lots of stuff going on, and it's gonna be at least one full day here. Uh, so I'm excited about that. They are really busy here at the shop at Modified Auto. If you're looking for somebody to do a remote start or an alarm or tint your windows or a custom stereo designed and installed here, they do all that here at Modified Auto there at 165 East St. Louis Avenue in East Alton, Illinois. My buddy Sean runs the place with his wife, Jill. Gary's always busy putting in remote starts and alarms and stuff. And I got to sit in and watch TJ uh, do a window tent job on a single cab truck. It was really fun to see how they put all this together. This is one of the only shops in the area that has this machine that custom cuts all the window tint right here in the office so they get a perfect lifetime cut, good warranty tint. But it was really fun to see how they install it and put it on the truck and squeegee out all those bubbles from start to finish. It's actually quite fun to watch and really improves the quality of any vehicle. I already have 
have tinted windows on the RB to a level that I'm comfortable with. I don't want it to be too dark. Like when I got Olga, I actually ripped the tint off because it was too dark inside. So there is a there's a there's a fine-tuned point that you might want with the RV, and I have some other projects going on that you'll see in the next video. But I want to wish y'all a happy Thanksgiving coming up, and from Jax and I, uh, we will both see you soon. I don't want to wake him up. He looks so comfy. Maybe I'll just poke him in the ear. Just poke- oh, sorry. <laughs> well, you can't sleep the whole day away. People want to see your cute face. Are you going to bite me? That's what you get, Dad, for waking me up. You get bites. You get the cat bites. Bye, guys.